you see it, I've been fishing and hunting in Canterbury High Country since I was a young lad, but haven't done much in the way of hunting in recent times. Before we get back into it, a little bit of tar hunting up here. Seems to be good numbers. So the aim of this trip was to try and get a something over 12 inches, get a trophy which I can put on the wall. Getting a bit long on the tooth now, so time to put that uh, particular one to bed. So yeah, so we're hoping to get something. The weather's looking good. Seems to be a few around. Need to put the effort in, a bit of climbing. And yeah, looks good, it looks promising. We're really going to give it a shot. It's just unfortunately the wind was behind us, just, I think it must have swept up. It's a good sight though, isn't it? Oh, it's cool to watch them, yeah. Keep watching them going up there. We didn't get them, but that's life. You don't get everything you want. It's cool though. Holy shit, there's a couple of good ones in there, Andrew. Oh, there's a couple of big buggers there. One at the front and one in the middle there, dark coat. Yeah, they look alright. Can't tell the horns though, it's just... Decent side one. Yeah, and he got a couple of nannies with him as well. And he's a decent size. Just look at those horns. What I can see. I you can really have a closer look at that one. Can we get to him? I don't think we can get to him. Get up over that bridge. We should be able to sidle around. Yeah, we should be able to sidle around, climb up there, sidle around, and we should be able to have cover and, and be able to shoot across at them, across the valley. Doesn't look too bad a distance either. Three or four hundred metres. All right, let's get going then, eh? Let's get going.
right, whenever you are. Jump out. You've had him. really discussed that yet, Greg. I'm uh, <laughs> pretty excited about getting the bloody thing. Um, we'll, we'll talk about that and see what happens. I don't know. I'll talk to Andrew. Over. Walk up. Up to the saddle. Down below us. And uh, Probably sitting there for half an hour or so spotting. There's a lot of nannies, but uh, no bulls. We're about to head off. And we've looked up behind us. This valley here. We've looked up here several times, hasn't seen anything. But suddenly there's a big bull sitting there. Two or three nannies. Must have been buried in the snow grass. So, scooted up that hill behind us. Not scooting as fast as Andrew. He set up. Um, by the time I got there, he was ready. Uh, and we had to muck around for quite a while while they buried themselves back again in a little um, little valley in behind the snow grass. So I was lying behind that rifle for some time, but finally this fella poked his head out again. And uh, 300, about 300 yards, and uh, managed to uh, managed to hit him. Fantastic! This is a 12 and a half inch ball, biggest I've shot, and probably the biggest I will shoot. Very grateful to Andrew. <laughs> he did all the hard work. But fantastic, just fantastic. I'm over the moon, absolutely over the moon. This is going to go on the wall. Fantastic.